I'm selling my Pudgy, um, spelled P-U-J-E. Uh, this is one of the originals. It's made by Bobby Di Nicola, as you can see on this little plate on the third valve slide. Um, there's a guy named Brent Peters that makes these horns new today. He custom makes them. I've never tried one. Um, but he's he bought the name Pudgy after this guy, Bobby Di Nicola, died some number of years ago. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice horn. It's like the size of a cornet. It's, when I bought it, I was surprised by how small it was. Um, and it feels like a cornet in many ways. Um, in terms of the blow, like it has a little bit of that resistance that a cornet has. Even like a large bore cornet still feels like it has more resistance than a trumpet for whatever reason. And this is kind of similar to that. It doesn't feel tight. It just has a little resistance, which I really like. And I think that's part of what makes it so fun to play. The intonation overall is really good. Um, no worse than a normal trumpet. And a cool feature that you might already know is that it has this slide, which is connected to the bell, um, which tunes the whole instrument, obviously, since it's connected to the bell. See, it's not moving the first valve slide. Um, yeah, it takes trumpet mouthpieces. Doesn't come with a mouthpiece. This is just a Lotus 3M mouthpiece. So pretty, it's like a medium depth mouthpiece. And as you can see, it doesn't sound substantially different from a normal trumpet. just fine up and down everywhere. It's a really fun horn. Um, and I'll just play it. This is my, my Bach 37. <laughs> Top note was me. But as you can see, it has a little bit of a different sound. I don't know if you can tell over the phone. Um, but this doesn't project as far. It has a warmer sound overall, but it doesn't project as hard as a normal B-flat trumpet, which is honestly why I'm selling it, because all of my playing these days is on stage playing pop music. But if I were playing in more chamber ensembles or just jazz combos, you know, this would be, I would happily choose this horn over the Bach 37, but since that's just not the playing I'm doing, I'm selling this. But yeah, it's a great horn. I really enjoyed my time with it, and I hope that whoever gets it next enjoys it. Ha <laughs> ha